So let's talk about my Alpicool, which is my car camping refrigerator right there where the passenger seat used to be. As you can see, it also doubles as a table. It's covered in matte black tape so it matches the rest of the interior and to make it less obvious that someone sleeps in this car. When I decided to buy my LP Cool refrigerator almost a year ago, there were maybe two reviews on Amazon and two video reviews on YouTube. Now there are dozens of very comprehensive Amazon reviews and very many well-made YouTube videos about this refrigerator. And there are also videos advising people on how to operate the different settings on the LP Cool. So I'm going to address whether or not this is the right refrigerator specifically for car camping. First, the size. This has worked out well for me because I removed the front seat in this SUV. This would have been too big for my little Toyota Yaris, and I can't imagine this in any vehicle smaller than an SUV. So in a smaller vehicle, I'd stick with a tall cooler like the one I had in my Yaris, which worked out very well. You'll have more vertical space than horizontal space in a car. It also makes a great table. This piece of wood is just Velcroed on here. It's always best to have multiple purposes for any item in a small space like this. Not only is it a table, but it's short enough that I was able to put storage underneath it. If you see down there, there's a couple of drawers. This is the 20 liter model, which is just a taller cover. The 15 liter model has a flat cover. There's a $50 price difference. I would get this bigger size if I had to do it again because it's pretty small in there. So any extra space is badly needed. And the cover isn't taking up any more space in the vehicle. This refrigerator freezer has been working out well in here considering that I'm not giving it a ton of space here for ventilation. I'm giving it the minimum recommended space on this side just a few inches. It's getting plenty of ventilation in front here. No ventilation is needed on the back side or the left side. Ventilation is an important consideration when you have a refrigerator in a small space like this. It's not going to work efficiently if it can't force out the warm air. It'll run your generator down if the compressor is running more often to get the temperature down and will shorten the life of the refrigerator. So measure the kind of space you have to work with and make sure you have at least two inches on the right side and several inches in front here. This refrigerator looks heavy, but it's only a little over 20 pounds. So it can be easily pulled out of the car if you want to vacuum the carpet or if you just want it out of the car when you aren't traveling. Now, can the 400 watt generator I have keep the refrigerator powered up 24 seven? No, a 400 watt generator is not gonna cut it even though the compressor shuts off when it's at the desired temp. It still turns on every 15 minutes or so to keep it at the desired temp, using about 50 watts each time. You'll need a Kodiak size generator, which is 1100 watts. The Kodiak can handle not only this refrigerator, but I can use multiple other electronics at the same time without any issues. So this has turned out to be a good purchase for me for car camping. It costs a lot less than, than the Dometic. It's been working well for me in this tiny space. I don't have to buy ice anymore if I want a cold drink or to keep food cool. Someday when I get a bigger vehicle, I will get a bigger refrigerator because this is very small inside. I would also get something that has separate freezer and refrigerator compartments. The Alpicool temperature does lower enough to be used as a freezer but you have to decide if you want it to be a free refrigerator or freezer at any given time because there's just the one compartment. If you're new to car camping and not even sure if you even like car camping yet, get a cooler and buy ice. You can only store so much food and water in a car anyway, so you can just restock the ice when you get more food and water. If you plan to be an occasional car camper, again, I would just buy a cooler and not make this investment. This is best for someone who already knows they enjoy car camping and they plan on taking many long trips, in my opinion. Alpicool has been a good purchase for me, but do read the reviews on Amazon before you make a decision. Not everyone has had good luck with the Alpicool like I've had.